In this fifth segment, Andrew speaks to engaging unions and prioritizing issues around decent work to help ensure that rights like sick leave are protected and that we're all able to work in a dignified work environment that respects the realities of the human condition. I know when we ask a uh, um, union to take on this campaign and sometimes I call and I feel so bad because they're already battling with something else over here and they pick it when is the right time maybe there's bargaining or then suddenly you think okay it's done and then suddenly there's something else over here how do you do that and in the beginning I was calling a union and I know John Carter would make that clear that you need to prioritize this and then I realized quickly that you just have to add it to that list because <laughs> It's always something else that's happening. So how do you juggle more than one ball? And how do you draw the link with your own members of uh, changing workplace review and the daily issues within their workplace? And so having conversation with members and they're going, what now? Something else. Sometimes there's a way of linking it. Yes, yeah, like the sick, like the sick leave right now for Treasury Board is that. Uh is a is a key factor because and even even for UTE you're in another another round of bargaining right now and it's 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 on the slate for that that round so sick leave is a sore point for for a lot of people and when you look at you know if we strengthen the sick leave requirements for the rest of uh, the rest of the folks even the folks that aren't unionized by putting it into labor standards yes. that's going to help our cause yeah. yeah and oftentimes oftentimes the the community they even know like I'll have people say to me you guys are in the union you're lucky all these things affect us not you guys and I keep <coughs> saying to them no we are still uh, a number of workers are out there that's still trying to build to build on that so we don't have everything it looked that way but we don't and that's why it's really important and the more we continue the fight around these issues it helped the others. And the more we link it with the others that's not in a union to say, this is about workers' right. If you're sick, you have a right to go off and get better and come back, or you're worsening. There's another thing I remember for so many years where uh, the, the, the fight around around hospital visit, and, all the, and they're talking about the racking up and people showing up in the emergency room. And coming from a hotel sector, I, I, I always remember this booklet the president gave to me once where he said I was on a plane and I pick up the, the magazine to read it and I was shocked. I was looking at faces of a number of hotel workers. I was somewhere else in another country and in the, the pocket of the airplane booklet, it was faces, familiar faces. And what it was about, it's about the, it, was, it was about emergency room. But what was hitting home, a number of these workers who have the wear and tear on their bodies from the growing workload, for not replacing workers, um, and, and, and they, as they had more work to cheat hiring more people, they wind up in emergency room at night. Mm -hmm. They wind up in there. And the stress, pardon me? Or it's just, it's just, the sick, just being sick and you, get, you, don't no. get, you don't get time to recover, so you, you end up with a pneumonia or whatever. So there is a connection to... The government was out there fighting around uh, around um, hospital, around the, 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 the uh, around racking up bills, people showing up without uh, because they have the headache. When they're not linking the, the, the connection that employer is driving a wedge when it comes to their employee who's sick and they're not honoring those workers. So it, again, maybe some ways of how we can pull that together to say to the, our politician, look, when, if we have worker here who is also fighting, fighting to make sure that there is some respect. When they're sick, there is some <clears throat> human dignity to it where they, they don't have to feel like they're out there, they're broke or they have to come into work sick. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it's a shame that these things happen, but some way how we can link some of that to show it's a growing thi thing out there that no one want to look at. No one dare to look at it.